N Planner is an online toolkit aimed at anyone submitting a planning application in an area that has a planning policy regarding on-site renewable energy generation. It makes it easy to show by creating an energy statement that you have met local policy requirements. N Planner takes basic information about your development and allows you to calculate energy and CO2 emission savings by adding energy efficiency measures and renewable or low carbon energy generating technology. NPlanner has been designed to be as user friendly as possible. It's intuitive and has extensive help information built in to guide you through the process. All of the information you enter into NPlanner is used to generate a professional energy statement that can be submitted alongside your planning application. To create a project in NPlanner, you will firstly need to buy a credit. Once you have registered with NPlanner, this can be done within the toolkit using our secure online payment facility. The following demonstration will guide you through the main features of NPlanner by creating an example project. Clicking on the New Project button takes us to the Project Details and Location page. Firstly, we select the Building Energy data. If we have Fuel Bill information or SAP or SBEM calculations, then this is where we can choose to enter our own data. Otherwise, we choose Use Benchmark Energy data. We then fill in the other location fields. The local authority is automatically selected when we enter a location or click on the map. We can then view a summary of the planning policy regarding low carbon or renewable energy generation that applies to our development. When we're happy that the information is correct, we click Create Project. At this point, a credit is used for this project and all other tabs become unlocked. Next, we add one or more buildings to our development by clicking on the Buildings tab. In the Add Buildings section, we just need to complete the required building inputs, which are marked with an asterisk. Once done, clicking on the Add to Project button saves our building to the project. You can add as many more as you like in a similar way, or edit and delete once you've already added. When the building is added, you will notice that NPlanner displays two charts in the Energy Consumption and CO2 Emissions box. The orange bar shows the total predicted annual energy consumption, and the blue bar shows the total predicted annual CO2 emissions for our development. The target energy reduction required for our development based on the planning policy will be displayed in the target box, as well as on the charts, so we can clearly see what we need to achieve to meet the policy. At any point, further information about the page we are on is available by clicking on the Help button in the top right corner. Once we have added our buildings, we can then add energy efficiency measures or renewable technologies to our development. Next we will have a look at energy efficiency measures by clicking on the Efficiency tab. The Efficiency tab is optional, but if we were planning to install energy efficiency measures on our development over and above current building regulations, we can add them here. Clicking on the measures in the list reveals more information about each one, and we add that measure to our development by selecting it and then choosing one of the three levels of savings. Level 3 is an estimate of the maximum savings in energy you can make from that particular measure. Adding energy efficiency measures will mean that pre the predicted energy consumption and CO2 emissions for our development will decrease, as will the target calculated by NPlanner. If we add measures to our project, the associated CO2 and energy savings will be summarised on this page, both graphically and in the table. We can add as many different measures as we like and they are applied to the whole development. Now we will add some renewable technologies by clicking on the Technologies tab. On this page we can select renewable and low carbon technologies and add them to our development to reduce the energy consumption or CO2 emissions. To add technologies we click on one from the list and this will take us to a new screen where we can change various options specific to our chosen technology. 
For solar PV, we can enter the area of the roof on which we want to install solar PV panels, the direction that the roof is facing, and the slope angle, which is the inclination of the roof. When we have completed these options, clicking on View Results updates the figures on the right, which indicate the savings that could be made by adding this technology. These can then be compared with the target savings. In this example, solar energy data for the project location is automatically used in the calculations. NPlanner also displays financial information about the suggested specification, including the estimated payback period based on current incentives. Once we are happy with our technology specification, we click Save to Project. Our solar PV system has now been added to the project and the corresponding energy and CO2 savings will be taken off the predicted CO2 emissions and energy consumption for the development. As you can see, the green bar on the graph has become shorter, so our development is producing less CO2 emissions and requires less energy from fossil fuels or electricity by adding solar panels. The graphs also display a percentage saving so that it is easy to see if you have met the policy target. You can add as many different renewable technologies as you like. NPlanner allows you to experiment with different technologies and specifications to see which ones suit your development best. In our simple example, we can see that adding solar PV has allowed us to meet the target for our development, and the Report tab now has a green tick on it. We can then generate our energy statement by clicking on the Report tab. NPlanner allows you to enter detailed and site-specific information about your development and the technologies and energy efficiency measures that you may have chosen. In our case, we have to explain why solar PV is a suitable technology for our development. Compulsory questions have an asterisk next to them, as on previous tabs. We also have to explain our plans for the energy efficiency measure we have chosen. All this text will appear in the energy statement and will give our development the best chance of meeting all the requirements of the planning policy, as well as helping the planners understand why we have chosen these technologies or measures. Finally, we can generate our PDF energy statement, which clearly summarises all of the information and results from the project. You can do this as many times as you like for a project, and you can go back and change information in any of the tabs apart from the project location. This energy statement can then be used to support your planning application. If your local authority uses mPlanner, you even have the option of making the energy statement visible to them on their system.